Well, hello, my fellow Wavings. This is that back here, and welcome to another video of RuneScape 3 Iron Man or Side Count. For this one, we gotta talk about another one of crafting. And it's actually kind of explainable what we did last time on the first video of crafting. We got a crafting level to level 20 on this time last, and then we jump into 23 when I did it off camera. Uh, as you know, we unlock a better item for jewelry, which is actually a necklace and a ring and something. So, for, so for this video of crafting, we're gonna work on urns. Actually, urns are based on ways to level up faster of your skills. I want to get better tier urns for Dimination since, since my Dimination is at level 80 almost, like it's at 79 right now. And I think I just need a tier 8 urn to actually level up my Dimination skill. So yeah, now it's pretty easy to actually make urns, but the hard part is just uh, working on it. You gotta mine a you know, full inventory of clay, turn that clay into soft clay. It takes two soft clay to make an urn, and then you gotta work on more of that. Now, also, there's a quest I wanna do early on into the, the series, which is crafting, and it is called Element Workshop. Element Workshop is actually a quest. That needs to be intimate into. Let's see, I want to know if I want, can do the first one. Yes, I can actually. We need 20 smithing, 20 mining, and 20 crafting. Okay, can I do the second one? No, I can't. I need 20 magic. Well, that's fine. I'm, that's actually the next girl I'm working on. <laughs> this one is actually not, cannot do. This one I cannot do either. I need 39 wound crafting and 39 teething. So the only one I could do is Element Workshop 1. Thank god this one's actually pretty easy. Not, not the other ones. Those are hard and deeper. They have a lot of puzzles in them. But yeah. And I think I can hope best work on the other ones next time. Which is two, three, and four. Once I unlock D thing, I think D thing is actually on after um, cooking, fishing. There's a list of skills <laughs> I have to do. But anyway, a I think four is actually uh, <laughs> our last way of questing. So yeah, don't worry about. I mean, we're shot four. What about the other three? And then we, and then we do that. What should we lock eating? Thing. All right. So I guess the first one that's it's out of the bat on the last video of crafting. All right. Back to making these urns for the time being. So yeah, once you get four inventory of clay. By mining them, you go to the well and turn them into soft clay by using the water. Well, it's based on the water buckets and that sort of thing. Ring, yeah. And then these urns take two clay to make them. Yeah, it's too soft clay to make them. So that by the time this is actually all done, we can turn these urns to anything we want for the time being. Now, is it worth it to make urns? Yes, actually. One urn that's actually kind of not worth it is actually the smithing urn. This urns actually require only smelting. No smithing, just smelting. That's kind of uh, lame, actually. 
Hey, so go with uh, all the other ones. Cooking, divination, farming, fishing, hunter, mining, prayer, wound crafting, and wood cutting. Don't do smithery. It's kind of boring. It's kind of lame. Who who does that? Anyway, take two stock plates to make an urn. I'm gonna make these fragile mining urns so I can get more urns for for mining. Okay, and then go ahead and. Put them into a pottery oven. First, gotta put it into a pottery wheel. And there you go. Once it's done into the oven, you can actually add your wound, which which is mining is based on earth wounds. And there you go. So, then, so once you're done with this inventory, right, we're gonna jump to a time lapse of making these urns. And it's gonna be pretty good. And these, so. I'm not gonna do the same old way of making others, but yeah, it's actually kind of reasonable and do so. And I want to go all the way in the time that's all the way to like level 30. So yeah, that's actually how it'll go work. Anyway, we almost done with this inventory. Alright, but there you go, you can make 14 urns with a full stack of clay and soft clay, you know. You know what I mean, okay? So I'm gonna to jump to a time lapse of doing this uh, all the way to grabbing level 30. So enjoy the time lapse.
And I am back from the time lapse. So I hope you enjoyed that indie so. It was pretty good, I gotta say. We bump up a level to level 30 crafting. Just to make urns. I made mining urns and rune crafting urns since that's actually the next girl I'm working on. And pretty much they're pretty easy to work on in so. But yeah. And then I believe we did unlock a Better jewelry, which is actually ammo for our necklace and ring. We'll do that, I'll do that off camera actually. And that's actually pretty good, I gotta say. So, 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 um, yeah. Uh, I'll say th the next episode will work on more levels of crafting. And and hope the best to hit level seventy crafting by the by the time we're done with this, and I'll have a lot of urns for the three skills: divination, smithing, and crafting too. But mainly just divination, and then and then also don't forget about rune crafting too. For our next skill, we're gonna be it's gonna be rune crafting, magic, and defense. And con and constitution, so I don't know how I'm gonna do it. it. I may do it with one video of wound crafting and another video, you know, of combat. I don't know. We'll see how how's gonna work, okay? Because I just need to figure out <laughs> how I'm intimate with this with these four skills. The other way, but anyway. I think that's actually pretty much it. Not nothing to worry about. I gotta say so. Indeed. So I'm gonna do this this skill off camera, and I'll get back to you next time. So I'm gonna leave you here. Thank you so much for watching. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you join Team Raven. Do follow me on all my social media accounts. And I'll see you next time. Bye.